Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video. So today we have a full face of e.l.f. I really wanted to just show you guys the best selling items, the most viral items from e.l.f. and create a bomb look. You guys know that I love drugstore makeup. I love e.l.f. Definitely e.l.f has become like my go-to drugstore makeup brand. Like they have everything, skincare, makeup, like whatever your heart desires, e.l.f. has it. So I figured I would pull from my stash and show you guys a bomb look using e.l.f. products. You already know, grab your cafecito and let's jump right into today's full face of e.l.f. makeup. Since we're doing all things e.l.f., I think I'm gonna mix two palettes. The most recent one, of course, the American Eagle collaboration. And then this one is like one of my favorites. I have a lot of favorites from them, but I really actually like this one, the Game Up palette. I also did a review. I will try to link it up here if I remember. I really want to create like a blown out like blue look, mainly using this color. So hopefully my vision comes to life. For my eyeshadow primer, I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Camel Concealer in the shade Medium Peach. This is the matte finish. So this is going to kind of set really nicely so we don't have to worry about the eyeshadow creasing later on. So because this color is going to be like the main one, I am gonna take that. I'm gonna use one of my favorite brushes from e.l.f., the wide tapered brush. This one is literally perfection for packing on. I need to order me a few more of these because I constantly use them and eat them. This is gonna be a pretty easy eyeshadow tutorial, so I hope I see you guys recreate this because this should be Easy peasy. Do you guys see how easy this just like applies the color, which is why I love it so much. I'm not really applying any color out here because I do want to take my time and to build it up. So let's go ahead and do this side. I am going to apply mascara and for that I'm going to use the e.l.f what is this called the big mood mascara this is actually a really good volumizing mascara i'm gonna leave the eyes alone for a minute i really like the way they came out they're very simple but very icy let's move on to the skin okay so for the primers i love multi-priming dual priming what is the word you guys let me know matte putty primer is my absolute joy <laughs> because this one mattifies the skin it kind of like hides the large pores and it makes us look flawless and then we also take a gripping primer this is just going to really help stick the base onto your skin and really hold on to it so perfect for those longer days vacation hot summer days, things like that. I don't know if many of you know this. I Why do I keep grabbing the wrong one? Oh my gosh, I just opened the powder and it got all over me. Anyway, as I was saying, I don't know if many of you know this, but e.l.f. actually has a brush specifically for their putty primer. So this is the e.l.f. putty primer applicator and it comes with a little scooper and then it's a brush, so it's dual sided. And I am just going to take a little bit on my skin and the cool thing is that the back side is flat so it literally looks like a little cucharita you can smooth it onto the skin just right here this is the only place where i'll apply it and then you just flip it and bam you don't need to use your fingers you just use the brush which to each their own if you like to use your bring your fingers your bringers your fingers let's take a little bit of the niacinamide primer these are just like holy grails from elf honestly i feel like this is what elf is mainly known for their gripping primers like am i right because honestly this is what just makes elf elf so for the gripping primer i like to kind of like slap my face a little bit because I feel like it just really gets tackier. You always wanna let that gripping primer set for at least like a minute at least 
so it can get nice and dry. For my foundation, of course, we're going in with the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream, and my shade is medium, medium 330W. This is such a good foundation. I honestly don't use it like nowhere nearly enough, but it is a good foundation. So I am gonna do one pump. I don't know if I want to use so much foundation today, but I'm also going to be using my e.l.f. sponge. This is from the Cookies and Dream collection. And I am going to stipple this in like this little CC cream gives so much coverage. It has such a beautiful like natural finish to the skin and it wears super, super nicely. So if you guys haven't tried it, definitely missing out. So as you can see, it's like pretty decent coverage, right? It's not crazy full coverage, but it's enough to where it like evens out the skin tone. Um, it has a little bit of a like dewy, glowy finish, but I will set it because hello, I am oily. I'm gonna mix two concealers. One is the hydrating and then one is the matte. The matte one is the one that we use for the eyes. So I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealer in the shade Light Beige. And this one, it's also really, really good. So I'm just gonna take it here. I think I'm also gonna take it to the forehead. Sometimes I don't like to do this just because it's extra product. It smells a little bit weird. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of the matte version. So this is medium peach and it's really light, but if you want to add a little brightness, like that is the perfect color and it's perfect for oily skin because it does dry a little bit of matte. So again, going back with my little sponge and I'm gonna tap in the chin first because this one does dry a little bit fast. And then let's do a little here on the forehead, blending it out. See how it just blends really nicely. And then I'm gonna bring this up to like where I have the eyeshadow. I'm not really cleaning it, but just tapping it in so it looks a little sharper see how it's like what i've been doing lately is so you can kind of get rid of that harshness you see i just take a clean brush there's nothing on here and i'll just go in between the line like the edge of the concealer and we're kind of like the foundation meet and i'll just tap it in you don't want to swipe because you don't want to lift the foundation so i'm just tapping 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 and this is going to just blend everything make it look like it's just one whole thing. Does that make sense or no? Okay, let's move on to bronzers. So of course, I really wanna use the new bronzers. This is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wand Contour. These are going viral everywhere. I already tried them, tested them out, and I really like them. This is in the shade Medium Tan. So I'm just going to apply this on the forehead and on the cheeks. If you guys are not really into these little wands, they also have little putty bronzers, which are also amazing. I love those so much, but for today's video, I'm just gonna use this. There is one brush that I can recommend from e.l.f. It's this one right here, the e.l.f. Complexion Duo Brush. It is literally the best brush because it has a nice, fluffy, rounded edge, and then you have a concealer brush. I don't really use a concealer brush for concealing, but I'll show you guys what I use it for. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the side of, uh, like the fluffy side, and I'm gonna blend the bronzer i might have applied a little too much it's okay this is why i like to have like little rags next to me you can get these at walmart that comes in like a pretty big pack for maybe three dollars oh, i applied too much that's okay we can fix that i'm definitely gonna have to remove some off my cheeks because i just got a little bronzer happy but i'm gonna tap it in and then I kind of like bring it up to um, I'm gonna say I'm out of the hairline and I'm gonna go back with my sponge. So anytime you apply too much product, just use your sponge that you use for your concealer or your foundation. You don't have to apply any additional product, just what I <laughs> just whatever is left, use that. I will also be using the new blush in Rose U Slay. And I am going to use a little bit, of course. I might use a little bit more towards the end and I'm also gonna use another e.l.f. brush. This is the Doom, Domed, Doom, Domed, 
oh my gosh, domed stipple brush. There we go. This one is also such a good brush. I will have everything linked in the description box. As long as everything's available, I will always link it for you guys. Let's set everything in place. I'm gonna use two e.l.f. halo setting powders. So one is light and then the other one is medium. To set everything in place, I am going to use the e.l.f. sponge. This one, I don't know what it's called, but it's pretty new. It came out this year. And I'm just going to use some powder dab it on the back i like to look up so i can prevent as much creasing as i possibly can this sponge also gives you maximum coverage so if you don't want to over bake definitely use a lighter hand but i like to bake because i'm oily so again tapping off the excess going right in and make sure you really like are pushing this product into your skin and then with the shade medium i'm going to grab some on the sponge as well Tapping off the excess and I'm gonna go right under the cheekbones, just right here. And then whatever's left, I just like to push it on the skin. I'm actually not sure if this halo powder is supposed to give you like a little bit of a luminous finish, but I don't get that from this powder. I don't know if I use too much or the name is just a halo powder, but there's no glowiness to it. Not sure the name behind it, but I love it regardless. And then to finish off the eyes, I'm gonna take this color right here again from the ELF and American Eagle palette. That 90s vibe is so pretty. And I'm gonna pop that in the inner corner. I'm gonna use a little bit of the ELF putty blush in the shade, I think it's Bora Bora. And then I'm gonna finish the skin using the ELF Sale Night Microfine Setting Mist. This one is really good. I am literally almost out do you guys see it's like all the way down here so let's see if we can get any out let's finish off the lips i will be taking the elf love triangle lip filler liner in the shade deep brown and then i'm going to mix two lipsticks from the elf satin o lipstick collection these are bomb, you guys. So I am gonna first go in with the shade No Doubt. And then in the center, I'm gonna take the shade Hustle. It's like a light honey nude, super pretty. And then of course, we're gonna top it off with the gloss just because the eyes are matte. I feel like the glossy lip is really going to just pull this whole look together. So I am using the e.l.f. Lip Plumping Gloss in the shade Peach Bellini. And that, my loves, completes today's look. This is a full phase of ELF's most viral products, best-selling, whatever you want to call it. Thank you so much for being here. I love you. Stay safe. And until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!